Alright, here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation on this Monday evening. Oh, we're hitting the music tonight. The Knicks would return home after two blowouts on the road, looking to get back on track. Shorthanded as they lose a couple of soldiers in the battle. No block nest monster. No Emmanuel quickly. So they would have a battle on their hands with the Toronto Raptors coming into town looking for revenge. But the Knicks' big three would not let their squad down. Randall, Barrett, Brunson. How about Josh Hart off the bench? Q dot activated. And in his absence, he had commendable performances by iHeart and Jericho Sims. Knicks continue their undefeated streak against the bottom dwellers of the league. Once again, beating the Toronto Raptors, man. 136, 130. Knicks get the dub before they head out west, man. Let's talk about it. Hit that like button. Hit the share button. Subscribe to the channel. Another edition of KFTV Post Game Live. We got to put some respect on Julius Randle's name tonight. Yep, Julius Hive, Robert Randolph, all you guys. It is your night because, you know, you, you, you watch that first quarter and you kind of just watch Julius's mannerisms. You know, just him being here for five years, you kind of just know when he's going to be on and mm -hmm. when it might be a tough night. And the minute in the first quarter when I saw him attacking, attacking the paint, Posting up in the paint, operating in the paint. I said, it's going to be a good night for him. Because that is where he does his best work. It's got to start from inside and work your way out. And he was dominating OG Adenobi tonight. Scotty Barnes, get out of here. Like, dominating these guys. I was surprised that the Raptors didn't throw more doubles at him. Mm -hmm. They were very selective in, 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 in where they were sending the help defense from. And so with that, with the single coverage, I mean, he was dominating. Just absolutely killing him tonight. I love the way that he was drawing in the double teams, drawing the defenders in and finding his teammates. He was playing two steps ahead tonight. Excellent decision-making by Julius Randle. I expected a bounce-back game from him after a lackluster performance against the Celtics, the two losses against the Celtics and the Bucs, even though the Bucs game he turned up as well. 34 points, 14-21 and 21 from the field, eight rebounds, five dimes to Julius, only three turnovers. Monster game tonight by, by Julius, man. We, we got to isolate him for, for tonight, man. Monster game, bro. Your thoughts? Absolute dominant performance, especially when he gets going in the first quarter, CP. I think I saw a stat today. When he scores more, I think, than seven or nine points in the first quarter. I have to, I have to, I have to find – I'm trying to find the tweet. But when he scores well in the first quarter, when he averages, I think, seven to nine points – Knicks are undefeated. Yeah. And that's when you really get to know when Julius is back in his bag, scoring in the first quarter. That's what we needed. That's why the Knicks also had a slow start to the beginning of the year. We need first quarter Julius Randle, and he gave yeah. more than that. He gave more than that in this first quarter. I believe what he had, like 15 points in the first quarter. So dude was just Kill. on one bullying left and right. That's the type of Julius Randle you like to see. And see, I just love the energy that he had throughout the entire game. How about how about the jab step on Scotty Barnes getting right past him? Yeah. Then posterizing Precious Achua, picking herself up on the rim, slapping the backboard. Yeah, we'll take that much technical. Deserved, we'll, we'll take much that deserved for the bro. tech. Yeah. I love everything yeah. about it. Yeah. Everything about it. And then hype then getting into the say to the crowd, come on, come on. That's what yeah. you want to see, man. That's, That's what, what you want to see one of your top two players do. Get the crowd involved. Uh, put on a show. Randall did an excellent yeah. job. Tonight. You want to see him leading. You want to see him leading in that in that regard and and channeling his emotion in the in in the right way. And he did an excellent job tonight, man. The five dimes are critical. Eight boards. You know, without Mitchell Robinson, everybody's got a rebound by a committee. And so I thought Julius could have had like ten or so, but no, he actually. Uh, I, I thought he finished with ten, but he actually finished with with eight. I thought he got a little bit more there, but according to the ESPN stat sheet, he only finished with eight. But either way, great job by him. I thought I got the, I got the yeah. stat. I got the stat right here. What do you so got? The stat is this. Mm -hmm. So before tonight's game. The Knicks are 7-1 and one when Julius Randle scores greater than 7 points in the first quarter. They are 1-5 when he scores less than 5 points in the first quarter. Mm. And there you have it. There you go.
Bro. I'm happy that Grimes finally had a good game. It's really, really about time. Yeah. Putting him on the bench was definitely the right move. I think this might be the first game that our big three all had 20 plus. So, and it's still, even though we won, it still is a little shaky. Yeah. It's going to be a rough month, but we got to see this a little bit more consistently. And I'm, I'm hoping we can keep this going. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Too too cold. Too cold. I thought I thought they had twenty last game and lost. Or was that the Milwaukee game? Well, I mean, all three of them really. Yeah. I think usually it's only like two of them, and then one of them's usually off. So yeah, this might be the first game we've had all season where they all played pretty consistent, and their shooting numbers weren't that bad. So we just need to see this on a more regular basis, and then maybe we can get some of these above five hundred teams. There you go. Uh, I think we need to talk about Julius Randle. Uh, I really like how he's changed his game. Yeah. Like, looking at last year, he was, like, top 10 in three points attempted. I don't understand why. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you've noticed in the past, like, five games, he's shooting less through. Like, he's shooting at get, most get five games a game. Get back into the paint, man. Get and that, back well, I into think the that's paint. that's perfect for him. Yeah. Because he's such a – the man is, like, 6'9", 250, built like a silverback. Nobody could really hold him in the paint, like yeah. And when he decides to do it, it's it's really it's something else. It changes his game, makes it so much better, and the offense just flows much better. Yeah. If he continues this way, I feel like the fans are going to start to turn. They're going to start to be like, okay, he's actually showing his presence. He's he's getting better. He's getting more poised, and that's exactly what we need from him, to be honest. Yeah. Brunson has been a little bit off, but I don't really expect that to continue. He still had a good game, twenty-one and nine, like. Even on a, like a okay game, he's still playing good. So I think we're in a good position right now. We're not obviously not contenders yet. Yeah. But this is I'm, I'm liking the strides of the moment. Like it's it's looking good. Okay. Pre- appreciate the call, my guy. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Quarter season report with Fred Katz. See you guys, man. Have a great show. Peace.